<clears throat> Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can verify your domain in Amazon SES. Amazon SES is a uh, email sending service from AWS. It's a cloud-based service which you can use to send emails using via SMTP or via API. But to send email, you need to verify your domain. So I'm going to show you how you can verify your domain and then you can you are prepared to send emails. I'm logged in in my AWS management console. So let's go to SES. If you type SES here, simple email service. Then you go to domains and here you are going to verify a domain so i'm going to verify a domain here let's click here and i'm just going to give a name my domain name is pythonmama.com so verify this domain okay so uh, what i need to do i need to create this uh, txt record to verify this domain let's copy this and go to my dns manager and then here this is my dns manager and i'm going to add a new txt record here so uh, let's add a record and i'm going to choose txt and then the host i just give the value and then i go to aws console and copy this part this will be placed in the value section so this is the value i give a ttl five minutes okay save it that's it so uh we have created this dns record then I'm going to close it. So uh, it might take around 10 or 15 minutes to propagate these changes. Sometimes it can take more than 30 minutes to one or two hours. But when this DNS change is done, you will see this is verified and you are enabled for sending. Okay. So let's wait for 10 minutes and then we check it again. Okay, I'm back here and I see the domain status has been verified. That means our DNS change is propagated. So if I go to details, then I will see this uh, DNS change has propagated everywhere. I go to MX toolbox. Then I'm going to search for the domain. Okay, we are here in MX toolbox. We are going to verify our DNS change. So I'm going to go for uh, TXT record. Look for the TXT record and you see the value has been updated. So if your domain is not being verified, then you can come to MX toolbox and see what's wrong. So what's the problem? And then you can either see your DNS resolutions or DNS provider and then contact with them that why this is not changing. So in our case, the change has been propagated and the domain has been verified. So that's the good news. In fact, here now uh, we can now use this uh, domain to send emails. That means we can send emails as a, uh, in from using any of the email addresses using this domain. For example, info at pythonmama.com, admin at pythonmama.com. That means from email address that we can use any of the email addresses for this domain. The whole demo is verified. The next part is you need to create an uh, remove you uh, yourself from the sandbox mode. So by default, AWS puts you inside the sandbox mode. That means in a sandbox, 
office mode, you cannot send emails to any mail addresses, but only can send to verified mail addresses. But in real life cases, you need to send emails to many other people. To avoid this issue, you need to create a request to the support that remove me from the sandbox and make my uh, SCS as a production mode. So uh, click here, enable production access, yes. Mail type transactions, website URL, uh, pythonmama.com, use case, I will send email from application to my users. Additional contact information, it's optional. Preferred contact language, English. I agree to the terms and services, yes. And submit for review. So, uh, let's submit for review. It will take some time, at least, uh, at least 12 hours, to see AWS team, and then they will let you know. And when it is verified, you go to SMTP settings. And here, you have uh, the server name, which is the port. And then you need a username and password to send emails using SMTP protocol. How you can do that? You just create here, create an SMTP credentials. That will actually send you to SES IAM page and they will let you create an SM, SMTP user. Create. and then download those credentials. It's a one-time thing, so save it properly. And uh, let's go to SES again. So now you see this is your email host name or server name. This is your port. You can use either any of those and then your username and password is this. So now you can use any kind of applications and uh, if you have, if the application can send using SMTP protocol, then you can use the settings to send emails. So we use ACS for a lot of our projects and it it is really good and it delivers emails to the inbox and it goes to the real person. One more thing you can do to create more email goes to inbox directly rather than spam is to uh, verify DMIC. So there is a DMIC uh, verification as well. This is the next table verification. And you can also do that. So this becomes more, uh, more verified and then this goes more to the inbox. How we can verify DMIC? It's simple, you click here then you uh, click dimic then uh, you create dimic settings okay uh, it will give you three cname records what you have to do is to you just need to copy these names and create a dns record into your dns record manager simple you just copy here Add a new record. So you copy the value here. Um, this is the value actually and then you save it into this field and then click save okay you need to do two more time uh, two times more with these two records and once you are done and your dns change is propagated you will see that your domain is verified and the dimic verification is also done so DMIC is a very good for 
uh, more uh, trustability and it goes if you send emails it really goes to the inbox rather than goes to spam okay that being said uh, that's it for today i hope you like this and if you have further questions you can always skype me or you can contact with me via email or even you can uh, go to my facebook page and inform me your questions thank you and bye <sighs>